Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to graph a parabola that ends. Now, typically, when you're graphing a parabola, for example, let's say we're given y equals 3x squared minus 5. Typically, if you're asked to graph this, it is usually assumed that this will be defined on all real numbers. I said the domain is the set of all real numbers, or sometimes written negative infinity to infinity. And so if there is no domain given, this is typically what is assumed. But suppose that that's not the case. Suppose that instead we are given a very specific domain. We're told that this is only defined from negative 3 to 5. Well, graphing this is essentially no different than graphing a parabola that is defined on all real numbers. We simply start plugging in some values that lie in this range, and then connect the dots, as we always do. So let's start by plugging in x equals 0. So we have, uh, x equals 0 here. This, this term becomes 0. We end up with negative 5. Go ahead and put it down here. OK, x equals 1. We get 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Somewhere around there. And negative 1, we get 3 minus 5, negative 2 again. We see that this is going to be symmetric for the most part. The only difference being that the right side will go out farther than the left side because our domain extends farther towards the positive than it does towards the negative. So you could go ahead and compute more of the numbers, but essentially it's going to look something like this. Right, whenever you get to x equals negative 3, Instead of drawing an arrow at the end like we would normally do, you simply draw an endpoint. And same thing over here for x equals 5. That would probably be above the chalkboard. That's essentially all there is to it. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we just discussed how to graph a parabola that ends.